All right, everyone, uh, welcome to the training today, HPE Programming Environment and Profiling Debugging Tools. My name is Helen He. I'm with the NERSC training. So I'll start with a few logistics. First of all, this is a hands-on training and is provided by HPE staff with help from our NERSC staff. I want to thank everyone who contributed to this training and especially our presenter, Chris Marsh of HPE. Emil from uh, HP is also online, and Wusan Justin um, from NERSC um, also online. Um, people are muted, um, but feel free to unmute and ask questions. If you feel shy, do not want your voice be recorded or um, face to be recorded, uh, you, we have a Q&A doc, and you can type your question there. This is um, preferred over our Zoom chat, so that can be recorded and also interleaved. And then we will read the questions to our presenter or we will uh, staff and we will be monitoring and answer your questions on the Google Doc as well. We would like you to help uh, us by knowing who you are. So change your name to full name in the Zoom session. You could, you could click on the participants and then more next to your name to edit that. We have enabled uh, closed captioning so you can turn on and off uh, and also view full transcript. Uh, I've uh, uploaded this welcome slide and I'll up upload today's presentation soon. Recordings need some processing and it'll be available in a few days. Uh, we'll send you an email uh, that when recordings are available, especially this um, will take a few, uh, pretty uh, little longer because uh, these are two long sessions so today and tomorrow. Uh, we are, have prepared a survey for you. so. I uh, appreciate you could help us um, improve our training by answering a very short survey afterwards. G agenda today and tomorrow, um, pretty um, tight with uh, lots of presentations and um, exercise. Today, today's hands-on is MPI hands-on and you'll hear uh, from an architecture, programming environment, uh, libraries, MPI, new feature, Tomorrow uh, is mostly on the performance and, and profiling. Again, presentation on the tools, and you have chances to do hands-on. Uh, we have uh, breaks built in the schedule, so don't worry. And lots of time for, for you to answer questions. So quickly, uh, I've, we've added every uh, all existing users you registered to the Ntrain 7 project. The purpose is to access to the node reservations. And when I, if you're a non-nurse user, you have been sent an email about how to get a training account. Those accounts valid through October 22nd. And you can just SSH, um, username and parameter.nurse.gov. We encourage you to insta install NX to expedite X forwarding when using the GUI tools, especially for tomorrow when you wanted the debugging visualization. And lots of examples of running jobs on our website. For the hands-on exercises, um, the, the labs and instructions are um, here on the uh, global file system on NERSC. So you go to your Scratch directory, we recommend doing everything on your Scratch, copy over the directory and notice the last dot in the command and follow the instructions for each lab. These are the reservations and tomorrow, today is nine to one, tomorrow is nine to two with the name of HP underscore day one and underscore day two. And these are um, sample commands. Um, if you're using just one GPU, you could use the dash Q shared, shared QoS. So other users can use the same node as you do. And if you need some um, you know, exclusive nodes for, especially if you wanna use say four GPUs on each node, then submit to the Q regular. Add the reservation um, name there. There's a typo here, it should be seven. And outside the reservation, so you don't you have this dash dash reservation flag, then you can use either Entrance 7 or if you have your own project, use your own project. Same with the dash Q shared or regular uh, when using one GPU or all the GPUs on the node. Um, I want to let you know a few of upcoming training events. Um, events, not exactly trainings. <laughs> um, so first of all, NERSC 50. You do have a choice to uh, join in person or um, remotely. Um, it's a special uh, nurse at 50s celebration, so exciting. And you can find agenda at this website and registration info. Then uh, right after the 
the um Nurse 50, we have this Berkeley lab. I think a typo here for the dates of Nurse 50 because these two are, are connected to each other. Then Berkeley Lab AI for Science is an in-person only event um, on all, all the AI um, topics. Following, uh, I think, day two tomorrow, lots of performance uh, profiling debugging. We have two other uh, debugging profiling sessions. One is total view debugging office hours. Uh, not only some you can ask questions, but also there are a, a, a couple of uh, presentations um, using Total View. And then there's a vial grant and sanitized training on November 1st. Again, this is um, um, hands-on. Then um, the OpenMP training series has been actually running for um, how many months? Five more months, five months. And there will be a last session on October 28th with catch-all and um, uh, remaining topics, uh, hybrid MPI, OpenMP and stuff. But you can uh, just go to this website and find all the previous slides, recordings, and hands-on exercises. So that's helpful. Uh, that runs, it, it taught, uh, touches upon all the OpenMP from basics on the CPUs, tasking, all the way to GPU offload and hybrid. Then um, November 7 and 8, there's a Quantum's Day, NERS 2024. This is an annual event. Um, uh, you can also find all the information there. We have a, a website, uh, user training events for all the upcoming events. And there's also a link on this page for all the past training events. And you can find individual trainings with usually with slides and recording. With that also, I want to just repeat, just uh, not to repeat, just to mention the code of conduct. We respect each other. This is um, as a team science, and we trust each other. So we want to work professionally and product productively. We have a link for the actual search uh, nurse code of conduct. But feel free to speak up uh, if there you find anything um, concerning. You can email us, nurse.training and nurse at lbl.com for any concerns. So with that, uh, this is all my introduction. I uh, will pass it on to Chris to start off.